Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, me Fong here, and I'm Silver Spoon. Welcome to the second round of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. We're taking a look at this preview of the game as we're checking out the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they're facing against the Boston Bruins. Now these are the two of the teams between the rival matchups that they played here for a long time. But this is now what they are calling for, another rematch here for a Canadian and the American team. Let's start off with the Toronto Maple Leafs starting lineups. Your starting goaltender is Sam Saint Ilya Samsonov. Austin Matthews starts off with his shock and awe ability. He makes his Ily shooting out a toe drag setup. It's great for a defensive. After a win against the Florida Panthers, he now wants to take his own time and wants to see if he can try to judge them by another take on in between. It's what they all do, but let's see how he can handle. William Nylander is the fuck on string. He makes a great Ely stake handling and take all of his time effort, but looking for another way if he can get that one caught off. And Mitchell Marner is your third eye ability with a perceptible passer in between. Now, let's go ahead and get right back to the top. We've got the Boston Bruins starting lineup. As we start up in between here, David Pasternak has been doing one of his snipe zone abilities. He also made a good puck on the string here too, but snipe is the better one to take all of his uh, response. He thinks a lot of it with his ultimate career setup in an all high ability. Because you may never know what he comes in, and that might be one tough way that can try to save it all to start things ahead for David Pachinox. Charlie McAvoy has a stick up ability for a Ely defensive stick, and that's the first thing that will be coming in there on the way to find another new look situation. He's looking for him to try to put a stick him up to put a poke check and pick a stick left. Brad Marchand makes a no contest with the Ely Puck battling. He sometimes takes a pass. And sometimes, he takes that pass over to give a go-ahead deflection goal. I really would like to see what he does. And finally, your starting goaltender is Lena Solomark. Instincts of the elite shot anticipation. It's one of our great participation in between, but Jeremy Swayman on the other side does have a post-to-post -post one. But let's find out what Lena Solomark done for the second round against the Leafs. All right, that should do for now. Now it's time to send you down to TD Garden Arena. Standing by, I have his son of Beast, and he's also with DJ Beats and the third commentary of the crew. I call it now, it's Ultra Beats. And starting in for the center ice, I will have some one of the commentaries, as right now, OJ will be standing by in the center ice. And we'll see you all later for the post-game show. Enjoy the first round, first game of the second round. And the other games will be coming up soon for the Western Conference on the other side after the conclusion of this game. Let's roll. It's that time, second round starts now. Send the Beast along with DJ Beast and Ultra Beast. This is NHL 24, coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. American and Canadian, ready to go. We start things off as Dana Postonox has it over again to Charlie McAvoy. He now gives it off to Coyle. Coyle swings it around, now finds the pass again to McAvoy. Over again by Marchand. Marchand with the puck. Looks over the middle. Pasty Ross. Save here. Puts up by Santanov. Here's Morgan Riley. He gives it off to Knees. Knees on his way down. Looking for some more room and some space. Ever again to Matthews. Big stop here by Swayman. And now here's Pasternak. He went down as Marchand has the puck. With the shot. Santanov makes a save. On a start where of his hate says now Santanov will have it to close out the gap. Starting goaltender for the second round. Here's another take now. I mean, they're really like into pressure. They've been playing it since the rival week of their game. But as you know, Boston Bruins are not always that friendly against the Toronto Maple Leafs. They've already been like 
losing it out. But that scoring job may not be the thing that you always start on because they've been playing it for it now in a regular season. But now, the postseason, they've already played it in the first round, which is a little bit late. Because of this point, they really are making that one a lot harder. And the challenging difficulty ones are not always the place to be where you start things off from here. Now, yeah, I have a lot of better feeling right now. It looks like Jerry Swayman might be taking over. But if we see Lena Solmark on the carry, I would love to see that one play on the ice, too. The Bruins will take their puck here as that Myers with the puck. Booked his way down the both shot. Big save by Sazanov. Under 18 minutes to start in the first period under siege and we're ready to take it off. Still a lot of time left in this period. No score in between of the Toronto or Boston. Tigers will win the faceoff as Lundgren will find in Yarncrook. He's right toward the middle. Frederick with the puck steal now back to McAvoy. Trying to find an answer, look. Kiki on a shot. Big save by Geek by Sanzanov. On a big release bit. All the defender and Lundgren will have it. Gives him no contest here as he battles for the loose puck. Now here's McMahon with the puck. Trying to give it off. In the move, Swayman puts a save. Frederick playing a lot of work effort and now he finds Gresick. Grasic finds again to Heinen. Heinen on again to Kiki! Big save by Samtanov! Under 17 minutes remaining in the first period, he'll get some time to get some new face off coming in. Now here's the call as we have OJ. David Postinov is one of his snipe zone ability. He takes all of his credit and go for a snipe shot in. Austin Matthews has one of our better techniques. He gives a good reaction to the goaltender, and I've made that one a great shock and awe ability. That's why he comes in there to try to save one on the day. I'll be fighting one of those two in between the Matthews and, of course, David Pasternak. There's a lot of great attackers and arrivals in the postseason. Back to you. Samsonov makes a save. Recovered by Brody. Toronto Maple Leafs are on the pressure. Finds a shot. Big save by Swayman. Logan now gives to Brody. Off to Marner. Give it over. Pass broken up. Logan gets the knees. Way too close to the goaltender. That goes right to the side of the net. Now finds Brody. Happy to shoot. Big glove save by Swayman. Oh, that's what you're going to know. You're going to start that off. That pressure is a good look out there. You make that one good. Very pressurized when you take a lot of chance. As now as the Maple Leafs win the faceoff, here's Bennett with the shot. Good pad stop here by Swayman as it goes back to Loray. Now Loray will have it over. Nice zone entry for the win. Shoots! Pad saved by Samsonov. Nylander off the ROA. Giving a good look. That shot went wide and missed. Try to find a look. Bennett shoots. Pass save here. Another one by Swayman. Now you're never going to let that call happen. When you know when Jeremy Swayman is really playing in there, that pressure in game one is never going to stop here. That was really seen a slowdown, and they are never going to like that call. And you know, they really have a hard time right now, but this is what they don't do. They don't make that passing any percentage right in between. I have a lot of it of what's going on if there was a takeover in between. Matt Grasic will have the puck. Gives it off to DeBrus. DeBrus finding his way. Blocked by Bennett. He takes that one with the spill as Domi will have it. He's over down to Bertuzzi. Shirts! Save on the pad by Swayman. He towards the corner. Battle for the loose puck. Here's Bertuzzi. And Grezelik will have that puck taken away. He's over again to Heinen. In the attacking zone, now finds Frederick. He gets fumbled up, now finding Mitchell Marner. Off to Labushkin. Bennett's with the puck and now gets again to Matthews. Matthews making his way forward on a move. Big stop here by Swayman. That was a good hard attacker. They really are showing out in a lot of respect. Not really what you all have to maintain it for, but they are really are keeping that one out of here. 
Kiki right towards the right wing. Gives it back. Behind the cage, just Heinen shot. All the defender's stick it goes as Kiki will give it again to Heinen, and he's been tripped. There will be the first penalty call on Toronto, and that's going to be on Austin Matthews. Oh, say hello, my friend. That's what it took so Austin Matthews. You can't slip that out of here. In the penalty box, for real. The Boston Bruins will start their first power play in round two, as they're right now they're on the board. And for the win, puts in for the Boston Bruins. Boston onto the Bruce shot. Wow, what a big save by Samsonov. That quick with 12.38 to go. You know, it's never going to let that last long because Samsonov is really keeping it in there. Better shot angles, better techniques. It's keeping it alive for sure. Now the win puts in for Boston Bruins. Gives off to DeBrus. On his way to Diggy he scores! First goal in second round goes to Kiki. After assist puts in for the good look on Jake DeBrus. What an excellent take here. Kiki deploying the goaltender. That's a power play goal. You take it in there. That's what the first goal starts off for the Bruins. We're making his way here that quick hit of luck. The Boston Bruins starts here in second round in game one against the Toronto Maple Leafs. We know that they're a pretty good team, but they're looking for another chance that they can get a back-to-back -back wins in a Stanley Cup in the championship round. Will this be great or what? I don't know if this will be great. I mean, they're really like a better playing offense. Do you know the Boston Bruins skate? They really are in a nearing the zone right by Canada. And this is when no one is really expecting to see what goes in there. I have no idea what's going on, but they really are expecting to see what goes in. That start of a game was a great setup. That changes all over on the course. You know, the obstacle of this one is not taking all of it for sure. But that reasoning is, it's a great way to have this one settle down. They really wanted to go for it. Now look, I like that. Saved by Swayman as Matthews gets to Labushkin back to Riley. As he's out of the penalty box, that was his first penalty call for the Toronto Maple Leafs. One and one for the power play goal for Boston Bruins. Here comes McAvoy. On a blocker stop made by Samsonov. Riley will try to give it off here with the battle of the loose puck. Riley now gets to Yarncook. Yonkuk right over into the right wing and to the left. Now finds severe shot. Big stopper here by Swayman. Boston back in the offensive zone. McAvoy. Oh, nobody giving up here. Hot shot. What a big stop here by Swayman. Libushki finds again to Riley. And Bofus will take that puck away. 10-30 left to remain in the first period as we're passing the midway mark. 1-0 to score. Tabers gives again to McMahon. Backhander is blocked. McMahon now gets to Logren. He went down. No penalty call. This one's a great take. And that puck gets skipped out of here. No play on a good pass. Looks in. Boom! It's saved by Samsonov. Past the midway mark of the period in the first. Just really let that happen. That playable is just what you take. Not everybody's good at it until you get it done right. Now for the win as Domi will have it a golf to Lindgren. Here's a take right now as he's over on the other side. He has to get the Bertuzzi. Shoots! Big save by Swayman. Valley for the loose puck in the chain right now behind the net. Try to look for the open room as Lorraine will have it over. Now DeBrus will have it out. Lindgren gets to Nylander. He led her to pass, and Bertuzzi shoots! Big stop on the chain by Swayman. Carlo battling for the puck. Kicks it out. Now it's LeRae with the puck. Off to Zaka. Van Myers! Big save here by Samsonov. On his way down, here's Bertuzzi. 
the spin-off to Domi. Scores! Ties the game up by one as Domi put his first goal in the second round against the Bruins. Oh, uh, take that out there. That's when Jersey made this one to Domi. Excellent play. Watch what Jersey does that. He has that spin across the Domi and he had that one broken in. That one right to the legs. And then this is what happened. When you give a good pass open, you got a good look in between. That one just beats right over the defender and now the goaltender. Game is tied by one with 8.46 to go in the first period as the Maple Leafs are trying to answer back quickly. They were already won in the first game against the Florida Panthers, the first two road games before heading home in Toronto for games three and four. They only lost once, but they only won back in game four. And this is what happens. Toronto Maple Leafs are climbing into the pressure. We see them as the Maple Leafs already have beaten out the Florida teams. While last season didn't really catch on, the postseason was cut short because the Bolts took them out with a big zapper on the chain. And Maple Leafs shut them down after the first part of the season. But now, the third season, they beat against the Florida Panthers. That was happened in the second round, but this was their end of the night that they've done. You know, it's really amazing when you all have to say, Austin Matthews giving up, doing great up, cleaning up on the angle. He making that one pretty good. And you know, that's a quick one to play hand. Muscle through, you gotta know that. But that's what they always just try to make sure to get that one here possible enough. They're making sure that they have that one blast out at full out pressure. Do you know what I'm saying? Because that is really what they take. Finding with the puck now, finding over. Off to Loray again to Frederick. Now takes a shot. Big save on the inbound by Samsonov. Geeky right on the other way. On a big impound. Frederick back again to Loray. Stick lift in the chain. Good save, but he scores again. Geeky with two goals in the first round against the Leafs. Oh, uh, that pick of the chain now, holding DP just made an island in there. Now this is what the error has put up. You see what Austin Matthews is trying to put in? That is tipped. That wasn't good at all. That one changed it up, and that was out of the way. You can't let that happen. You can't put that foot back, back down there. You've got to get that escape. When you're playing for the Maple Leafs, you know you're doing something wrong. Nobody wants that one to get in the way through. Geeky wins the faceoff as Loray will have it. Loray off to Frederick. Hot save by Samsonov. McCabe with the puck. Work his way across. He's Austin Matthews. Trying to battle in for the loose puck in the chain as Marner's got one. Big deny on the play. Geeky now finding the other way on the other side. The offense trying to grab in for another attack. For a shot, and this one's off the puck and saved again by the goaltender. Mara's shot, big save by Swayman. The Bruins will carry out here on the other side of it as he will fire it out. Vibushkin now finds again to Morgan Riley. Domi with the puck now finds Marner. On his way down, trying to look for some more clearing room. Domi gives again to Riley. On a shot, DeBress takes the puck away as he got bumbled up. Zaka with the puck. Takes a big hit. Leaves the puck out of the zone as DeBress will try to leave it alone and now back into zone. Here's Zaka, short. Oh, what a big save by Samsonov. Big start with a change, stays out. That was really close. This was nowhere I was seeing it before. That playable is just tremendous. DeBrusk right toward the right wing, now five man by his shot. Big save on the inbound by Samsonov. Here comes DeBrusk, gets off to McAvoy. Shots blocked. Rebound shot. Put it in, he scores! Barbell Zaka entering the breakaway chain and in to take the net. Now that problem just have to be what Pavel Zaka was in there. You see, he was like already wearing a breakaway chain. He tried to push it across. He's already in full pressure. That range is not even in sight. That one has changed and messed it up entirely. He didn't really think he was able to get there. 
That blind tendy is only for Cadell Soccer. He's really like into an excellent long performance. He's really like high on a chain. Not what you all call for because if Pavel Zaka really had that one in there, makes that one a great stoppage on the inbound. I have a lot of good range here through the Boston Bruins. They're looking for a back-to-back -back scores in for the season. We'll find out if Zaka has more room. Back to you. Grosek's got the puck and battling along the board. Now here's Pasternak. He will have it over now finding a room to McAvoy. Off to Coyle. Coyle to take the release, but Marshawn backhands block. Coyle's trying to pick save by Sensenov. Gronkov trying to get that one out. Brody tries to make a spin out. Now he gets it off again to Devers. Tabor is looking at man. Big stop by Swayman. He will hold that puck right over here. We're just nearing down the end of a mark. Because we have another one coming in. Now with the take, here's McVay. The cave shot, almost a fucking in there as Greslak will have that fucking bound. Battling for the chain as a as Lockham will Locko will have it. 3.30 left to go in the first period. Brazier shot, trying to put up a set up run, but it's stopped again by the goaltender. Brazier now finds it. Tavares takes the cutout. Now finding its way through. Looking for an extra man skater as McMahon has it. Kreslick's got that puck. Trying to battle across the board. Bovis with the puck, fires it out. McCabe now finds McMahon. McMahon will dump it across in the Boston zone. Wilberspoon takes a little bang out as the Bears grabs that puck out of here. Well, he's really, like, aggressive now. He's trying to tell him, like, is this what you're going to do? You're going to make me make, make me be mad? Don't let that happen now. He got that puck right away. He's just, like, making a spin off. That's a, that's a collision course already. They really are trying to battle it off. Nobody have that one answered back right away. And a shot! Oh, big save here by Swayman. Geeky with the puck. Battling for the puck, a loose chain. The recovers by Heinen. Kiki with the puck right in towards the right wing. Dump it out into the Maple Leaf zone. Labushkin with the puck. Now has it over again. Now back to Marner. Here's the pass. Farley shot. Had saved by Swayman. And Riley scores. That goal goes ahead. It's now a 3-2 game in the first game in the playoffs of the second round. You expected what they say now, Morgan Riley was able to cut that inbound. Try to make it from the corner, but that one just beat over Swayman that fast. That's where you don't take a resistance. That's where you don't see that play over here. That's what happens. Morgan Riley made that one a good look. An open rebound is just putting a setup in. You never let this happen. You're never going to let it go. This slides off way time. As right now, Shannon Kirk will have it now again. Back to Marchand shot. Love saved by Samsonov. Nearing down the end of the final minute in the first period. 3 2 is the score. Now for the win for the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's like Bushkin will have it again to Morgan Riley again to Nylander. Here's a chance, Nylander to tie it up. That's stopped by Swayman. Try to hold it up from here as we're now into a one minute zone. Now for another extra room. It's still coming in as we have another one coming in by. Now Domi will win the face off. Leibushkin went down. Here's Marchand. We're under a minute right now as Marchand trying to look for some more room. On a back stepper, big save here by Samsonov. Bertuzzi trying to put a piece of it. Another hit by the Bruins. They really are making that one slow down. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but don't take it too much for them. Swayman will try to cover things up here.
Now for the win, your sending card. Again to Wolverstone. Tries to look again, look for some open blankers. Brody takes a buck steal. Now he's over again, trying to find an extra man skater. He landed shoots! Big club saved by Swayman! Almost coming down to the end of the first period. Still a 3-2 game. Now the win will put in for the least. Logan to Brody to tie it up. This one's off the skeeter. Marcian trying to get about. Logan to shoot for Marner. And that one picks the puck away. That ends the first period. Three to score. Getting to be a close game, but we'll stick it around for the second period right after this. Welcome back to the Boston Arena of TD Garden. We're ready to start the second period. And off we go. We're ready to start things off here in Boston for the second round of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. All right, guys. I still have those two right in between. Let's have your takes of what they did in the first period. You know, how hard this thing didn't really turn to be like it's all for anybody's idea. But I've always got to say that this was a very hard game. Not even anybody can score on that one. But this playable is just what they do. They make this one a lot more challenging. That one is really putting in for the Leafs and the Bruins on their side. Let's find out if the Leafs can get a tie break into the series. No tripping call on the Boston Bruins. Tries to send it over, now finding Wiley. Matthews calls offside. Now they're ready to do it in our faceoff again. Three twos to score for Boston Bruins. And off the win for Charlie Coyle. McElroy finds Marshan. He went sliding down and whiffed it out. Nylander finding Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi on his way. Shot! Good save here by Swayman. He stops that buck here with just 18.38 to go. You know, really doesn't mean like that Swayman was really seeing it. That one is going to carry over one time again. But I have no configuration of how this is going to like happen. That changes over quickly, but not for anybody who does it. As he went for a spoil down, the puck goes up in the netting and it's out of play. Now my take over here for Jeremy Swayman. He hasn't been playing in here for the whole season. I was really hoping that Lena Solmark would be able to recover from him, but that may not be the change off if that one happened to be the same thing again. It could be a hard one, but nothing is going to let it slow down. I mean, they really are trying to let that one here score and stop it on the, on the drive game. They're making sure that nobody gets screwed. All set up and ready to go. 3 2 to score for Boston. Now the Bruins will win it as Breslik will have it now. Fire it again to DeBrus. DeBrus trying to fix it in. Take a little bit of a voice set. He stop. Oh, big two save here by Samson on. McKinney trying to jump for it, and a third time stop by Samson on. Not a way to shoot, but what a shot! Oh, he denied the play! Wow! Oh, you gotta let that happen now. Samson on was able to get that close game. A big save. What a take! But Jersey not finding in the middle. Now behind the net is Bresnikov having to get into the brush. He pressed right toward the left wing, looking for an extra room. Van Meyer shoots it! They stop on the chain by Samsonov. McAvoy to Zaka. Zaka off to the breast. Full pressure on Bruins. Big save by Samsonov. A big takeover. Now that offense can't let that one slow down now. Samsonov got a pretty good stop. After a win for Toronto, here's Brody. He will have that one covered out. Give it off to Lindgren. The full pressure is off for the Boston Bruins as Lindgren lost the puck and Grizzly will give it again to Coyle back to McAvoy. McAvoy trying to give it again to Grizzly. Now he finds Pasternak. Throw it away. Now finds Marshall. Shot! Big save here by Sintanov. Right behind the net. Brody's got a puck. Taking a ball for the least puck. Nice with the puck. 
Nyez with the puck here now trying to look for some extra space here. Near the corner of the wall got stopped up by McAvoy. Now the big chain finding Marshan. Marshan right towards the right slot. Poked it out. Lugren with the puck now finds again to Marner, again to Brody. Brody trying to race for it. He's trying to make his own attack and going in. Nate shot. Glove saved by Swayman. Under 16 minutes to go in the second period. 3 2, still the score. Now they're ready to do another face off. We're ready for the puck drop. Now the wing puts up for the captain. Hit the goalpost outside, but he scores! John Tabers ties his game in the second period. You know, I never see what goes in. John Tavares comes out and he just tries to take the puck away. He battles it right now. When it hits the goalpost, he had that rebound and put it back to beat Swayman out. That is a crazy play. I was not seeing it what goes out. And you're never going to find out what does next. McKay with the, with the chance now. He was now into the right wing. Tries to get a Tabor shot. He goes down. And McMahon will have it again to McKay. Sure, it's a big save by Swayman. Tabers with the puck. McMahon, shot, locked it up as Heinen will have it. Taking from back and forth step. Shoot one! That big save here by Sensenov. Lifts it up into the end. The Bruins will have it as Lorraine will have it over and give it again to Heinen. Boston back into the Toronto zone. Looks for help! And off the glove it goes. McCabe with the puck now finds Yonko. Toward the right wing to the gut. Garlo give it back to Lorraine. On his way down, trying to find an answer. Big save here. Puts up by Samsonov. Puck clears out. Back to Swayman. Now here's McAvoy. McAvoy got a little slight step pushover. That full push is going to like a, take a hard one for the worst. They don't want that one to get spooled out. If something happens to them, you know they're going to have a hard time doing it. Perfect shot! Wow, it's a close save. Close call on the range. It's been net with the puck. Oh, really have to be like that. Here the goal post event underneath the goaltender. That is what they don't do. Can't let that one fool you. Saka lost the puck as Riley will have it over. Maple Leafs back to Bertuzzi. Off with the shot. It's stay here, and that one gets a pickup back to Greslick after a save by Swingman. Van Mayus with the puck now in the wing. And there is the penalty call. That guy all slashed up. As now the Boston Bruins adding another power play unit. It's now a 2 for 1. If they get a power play goal, this will be 2 2. Mybushkin's in the penalty box, ready for power play. Now with the call in between. It's still a high game, looking for a chance to take the lead. Now as the win will put it up, fires the shot! Big save by Samsonov! Geeky trying to head it out. Off again to Brust. Chop for the back end! Big save by Samsonov! Brody goes up in the air and it will fire it out, give it back again to DeBrus. DeBrus again to Marchand. Marchand shoots! Going to back and back! This one's knocked out of here by Samsonov. Off to Brody. Troy Brody will lift it out. McAvoy's got the puck now, finding over again to DeBrus. Kalsonox gives the McAvoy again to Marshan. Marshan's finding some no contest here. Lundgren takes the poke check. Can't hold on with that one. One minute left to remain in the power play for the Bruins. McAvoy off to Marchand. Marchand to McAvoy. Marner takes a puck steal. Looks like the one on one is going to be it. Takes a battle spill. McAvoy with the puck now with 30 seconds to go in the power play. Off with the shot. Stop here by Samsonov. Nice with the puck. On a two-on-one opportunity, takes a big punch. 
Domi's got that puck. Big save drive. Swayman rolls out. Looks like his time is about to expire. Got to get out there. He pressed. Can't hold on with the puck. McAvoy. Pause it on. Save. Almost went in. This one stays out. The power play comes in and for the Bruins. It's a 2 1. It's a 1 2 on a segment. Oh, Swayman! Didn't see the puck, but that one stayed out. Oh, they really want that. They wanted to let that one let it go. By the way, they better going to let that one hang on. They have a great shot. Big save! Not this time, he scores! Yard Cook takes their team up in the lead. It's a 4 3 game in Boston. Now that problem put it in. Yarn could have that one in there, but that uh, double time stopper didn't have the right choice. He made this one in there and he tried to have that glove, but that was just too late. That one made another goal here for the Maple Leafs. I can't believe it now. Timothy Lindgren just made this one excellent. That improvable is just a tick over and you now have it all coming in there for a better chance. That's the Bears will win the faceoff as Lundgren will fire that one out. Ian Swerzluck, he finds again a McAvoy. McAvoy goes punched out. Yarn Cook with the puck. Short save here by Swingman. Swerzluck finds Pasternak. Off now to McAvoy. He has it over again, trying to find some more room. The Bruins are back in the offense. Coyle to take some time effort. And a rebound has been denied by the goaltender by Samsonov. They're really putting an expert on that point occasion. That's a takeoff. You're never going to let that one slow down. Past the midway mark of the period is John for two. No good. This one stopped again by Swingman. Tabers. He denies that one. He got a piece, but he scores. McMahon with his first goal in the playoffs against the Bruins now brought the extension 5-3. Now that one comes in there. That's what they don't really see when McMahon was able to get that one swinging with the puck. He's losing his effort. He wants Olmark to bring in there so he can definitely have his chance now. Last time for Jeremy Swayman if he doesn't get there. Then the replacement for the goaltender will be Linus Olmark. That'll be on his way in a moment if the missed one comes up for the, well, for the Bruins. Swayman puts a save. Carlo now finds Bovitz. Bovitz off the very soon shot. Way off the mark. Oh, I think he was trying to do the same thing just like that. Well, that's what they happen now. I mean, they're really expecting to say that the, the Seattle cracking that one puts it in there. He tried to put the glass in there. That's what he just tried to do. Make that fancy look. How did that one go with the tip in? That went up and then went behind the goaltender and then tip back in. He didn't really spot that one on there. You've only seen that one in the last game, the Bruins against the Seattle Kraken. That was the epic one. But that journey didn't really think he was ever going to stop that point. He's got to see what he can do. And now with the shot. Big save. He scores. Play two. His first goal in the playoffs against the Maple Leafs in the second round. They now are putting it back down by one. Now that's pressure. Take the cannon in there and put the rebound passing center. This really makes this one clear. He had that one with a good blank range. Right for Bruce here. That's how you stuff that up. They're back down again. And that's an effort now has their team just up by one. And the way we'll put up by Bobix. Carlo gives it a little ray. Trying to let that one go back in. Bobix again to Laco. Shot. And the save puts up by Samsonov. Now he's over again on the way. On a shot, big save by Domi after Samsonov with the retake. Now Petrucci will have it over. 8.30 left to go in the second period. Carlos got the puck. Tries to go again to Heinen. Heinen by Eggnol again to Kiki. Kiki make the spill. Try to put a punch back. And Heinen's got the puck. Saving the day, now it goes over. That puts a broken pass as Hybushkin gives to Marner. Here's Marner with a chance now in his effort. This one's blocked up. Marner! Oh, what a great save by Swayman. This one stopped again with under eight minutes to go. Now, would they really mention that now? They were really expecting to say Jeremy Swayman 
He's really like, he's not a hard quitter. He's never giving up that easy at uh, all. But that changeup may be a little bit hard, but now you go for it. Austin Matthews with the win. Like Buskin. Chop! Blocked it up. Nice defensive effort. Frederick on a one on one tag. Sure, Big save here by Samsonov. Matthews now finds like Buskin. Frederick now has it over with the pass. It's broken up as Marner and the penalty's called on Boston Bruins. They're never going to like that call. This one is definitely a bad idea for the Boston Bruins. They're bringing the inches skaters on. Now the Maple Leafs, they're going to serve their power play. They're going to get back up at two if they can. Marner behind the net. Trying to find Tavares. Tavares again the nice. Nays gets again like a good shot. Off the defensive effort. Still on time before they put the late penalty in. Now you'll have it. The interference is called on the Boston Bruins as Frederick's in the penalty box. You're never going to get the call. That is really going to take some hard time effort. You're never going to let this one slow down. That is what causes the mess up players to get revenge on. They're not happy with their vote, with their faults. That is just a change off they can't do. Boston Bruins on the first delay penalty, penalty kill as the Mike Maple Leafs will start their power play with just under 8.30. And John Cook lost that puck and slipped and used it over. Wilbur Spoon's got it now. He will fire the puck out. Tavers holds on with the puck. Puck leaves his own. Tavers trying to look for some answer back. Tavers again to Lundgren. Yarncook with the puck. 6.30 left to go in the second period. 1.30 left to remain in the power play. Another stop made by, by Swayman. Bowling in the center ice. The Bruins back to Wimberspoon and Marshan. This old will kip it out. Now trying to find an extra attack along. This one's been chopped up. Samson off takes the save. Six of six left to go in the second period. As right now it's still a 4-5-4 four, four game while the power play resumes for the Leafs. Off to win it again. Here's the Bruins. Dress like with the shot. It's been denied, and now Marner will grab it. One minute left to remain in the power play, and Marner trying to get an eye mission. This one's saved here by Swayman. Grabs it with the puck. 5.50 left to go in the second period. Matthews takes the puck. Toronto back in the offense now finds Nylander. On his stick to Marner. Big stop by Swayman. Good releasement here. Oh, nearing the five minute mark, it's still a close game to be here as they are trying by one. Now they're ready to take another face off on its way. And Zako wins the face off as Gressis will have it. He fires the puck out, off the zone. 30 seconds for the Leafs, power play. Now he's up already again to Nylander. Nylander taking some time, now finds again, shot, oh, big save here, Swayman, are you kidding me, that's a hundred miles on a shot, he took that one a chance, now you never see what Swayman does, with that catch, that's excellent, that is a timing ability, you got that reach under control, oh my goodness. With the wild save of Jeremy Swayman, 5-4 still the score. Tavers wins the face off. Fires a shot. Big stop here by Swayman. Looks like he's back out there ready to go. Pops this in the zone. The Maple Leafs are unable to make the answer as their power play has expired. Great job on defensive effort right now. They're laying that one to get out of the attackers. With approachment right now, as Frederick was not even happy with them, he really didn't like the call. He made this one an interference, but the ref showed up his hands. That's what's causing him to mess things up. But a great out here for the Boston Brewers effort, and Jeremy Swayman, unbelievable. 4.30 left to go, and this one is deflected off the skater again to the beer, and now find Gorka. He lifts it up in the zone, whereas it will have the puck. Now finds again a Kiki. Kiki on his way down will fire it up in the air. Yarncook with the puck. Now finds McMahon. Lugard's got that puck. Taking his own time, now finds a beer shot. Big save puts up by Swayman. 
McAvoy swinging around now finds Gorsuch. Now he has it over to Heinen. Heinen trying to look it off. And there's a penalty. Slash called on Yarncrook. This will be another penalty call on Toronto. The main event is ready to put in for the power play back for Boston Bruins. 1-2 this time, looking for 3-1 for the back for 2-3 in the game. He lost that one. Kemp's got the puck back the other way. Looking for shorthand and big stop by Swayman. Nearing a time minute here before three minutes, Swayman still covered in. Now they're ready to do our faceoff. It's still coming in, very close game, 5-4. Now for the win, here's Brody's shot. Oh, put a big stump down, and Marner will have to give it to Brody. Big save on the chain. And Myers brings her team back in to the power plays while it still resumes. Big save on the carry, and it's another one stop. Zaka to Vermeer is going to play. Big save. Another bad save by Samsonov. Well, it's really going to let that happen now. I mean, they're battling it up for, for trouble. They can't let that one get out of the way. I mean, they really are aggressive. Trying to get that out? No way they can. Puck leaves out of the zone. And now the chance here. Puck goes the other way. Now another take for Samsonov, he will fire the back pan, and this one will leave out of his own, back to Coyle. Coyle trying to find Zaka, a big save! Wow, what an excellent performance for Samsonov, stops that puck, which nearing the two minute mark. Now you never know what they did, Samsonov was really execution, making this one easier look than the play, well, score. They're letting this one go in, had a lot of chance on a great saves. Nearing the end of the second period, still a 5-4 game as the Maple Leafs are up by one. Now the win will put it in. Pastor Knox to shoot one. This was blocked. Big stop on the train by Zinsenov. Lifts it up in the air. The Bruins bring their team back in their responses now by Marchand over to McAvoy. Off to Marchand. Whoa! What an unbelievable moment by Samsonov. He's ready to get out there. And that will end the power play for the Boston Bruins. One and three for the power play strengths. They're keeping it alive out there. You've never seen it, what's going in. That great save puts it inbound. you got to give credit to Samsonov. That is an excellent wild save of the night. And you never expected what goes in there because that is a hard one to take over Nobody they ever knew how this one will turn out. That's like a big play that you've ever seen it before. And here's the brush with the puck. 45 seconds, we're under a minute right now. Trying to go for a tie. Big save on a chain by Samsonov. Brody spins around, now finds Nylander. Nylander again to Domi. Domi searching his way through. Looking over, but Terzi makes a big save by Swayman. And here's Pasternox, driving right toward into the center of the net. Shot, what a goal! David Pasternox, another huge response, back to tie it up. Now I expected what they say now. Yeah, I know the wide room, you sniped it. What an excellent performance here. On the beat over Samsonov, that was right in between the legs, and that just threw it in there. That's crazy enough to go in for a tying game. There are no quits here. As right now, it's a tie game with 10.9 seconds. They're all even up now. Looking good. Oh, yes, I love that one. This is excellent rival game. You always can't expect it what they ever gun going for. And that will do for the second period. Ray brought it back. Five fives to score. We'll be right with you for the next goal in the third period. Coming up 
after the break. And we all come down to the third period in game one of round two. Well, it's been a while with this game, and with the comeback switch, it's still a tie game. Now with my broadcasting partner, let's find out who we have for the second period of what they did, guys. Well, just an easy, simple now, and they were really well at it. And they're the group been playing in, like, all the pressure right now. And you know, this is what they always do. They played it really well. As you can call for Toronto Maple Leafs star in early range, but then, now, Boston Bruins got a comeback switch, and they wanted to even up this game. Yeah, they've been doing really well. I, I was really seeing it, what's going in. But this rival is never going to end up if their game keeps on happening in the playoffs in the second round. Stop here, my sway man. We'll find out if they have the leading points in the series. If there is a goal, head goal between the Bruins or the Leafs. All right, yeah, that's definitely what it is. I think there should be a good one too. You bring on. Austin Matthews with the puck now into the wing, trying to find Marner on the shot. This was deflected off the skater of McAvoy. Charlie McAvoy right toward into the center. Fires a shot. Big glove save by Samsonov. Morgan Riley's got the puck. Now gives it off to Nice. Nice, or again to Domi. Domi finding Riley again to Nice. Give a pass off look. Here's the shot. The big taking angle, and now finding pressure knocks again to Coyle. Coyle trying to make his way. He went down with a slam on the board, and it goes right back to Riley. Riley's off to Petruzzi. But Jersey gives again to Domi. Domi on a three function shot. What a big stop here by Swayman. This one stayed out. Breslik right over now again to Van Rias. Van Rias with the puck. Battling along the board with the take a poof puck chain. Stopped by the goaltender. Nebraska Zaka. Save on the pad. Domi has it across back to Nylander. Now he finds Brody. Over and around the attack. Zaka takes the puck seal. Off his way down, right toward the right wing. Shoots! Big save by Samsonov. Oh, uh, he's up for the whistle here. It's just only 17 14 to go in the third period. For the next game, as the Western Conference are happening on the other side, we've got their next matchup here. As we got the Stars facing against the Predators, that will be happening back at American Airlines Center. The next part of the game is happening at at, uh, at 6.30 p.m. This will be the first uh, part of the game to have an early range before the next game is happening at 9.30 p.m. That will be the Jets and the Avalanche at Mile High, and it will be happening here at 7.30 p.m. here in Mountain Region, if you're in the uh, Mountain Region area. This will be the next game underway for you. Now Leroy with the puck now finding a pass over. Gives it again to Van Meijers. With a look, here's the shot. Big blocker stuff made by Samsonov. Toronto back the other way, trying to find a cutting. Off his way is a shot. And Swayman denies that shot. He's really well pressured. Just got to keep an eye on sight for sure. And here's the call of Mitchell Marner as OJ stands by. Mitchell Marner is really putting a lot of his better percentage looking for his fertile ability in the third period. He might be finding what he might go for, but that may be the questionary of how is he going to handle it to find a third eye pass. Frederick now finds Kiki right toward the middle. Off to Heinen. Heinen lost that one. Lambrush hand over again to Riley. Riley right towards the left wing. Tries to get in front. Riley, nowhere to go. Swayman give it back to Loray. Well, they're denying at that point. They were trying to let that shot go loose. This wasn't happening at all, but they've got to go for another help. You know, this is what they say now. I mean, they really have wanted to deny this one. Take down the Boston Bruins. That's what we defend on. Big save by Swayman. Carlo with the puck now finding another way, looking for an open room pass in the wing. Over now, Heinen's shot. Not enough to get there as he will have to have a little bit more aggressive to get over with the goal. Matthews with the puck with 14.42 left to go. 
by Buskin shot. Whoa, just a good heads up play. Made a stop play inbound. And now he has it over again to Pasternak. Went down, but Terzi gets to Labushkin. Shoots! Save on the pad here by Swayman. The Bruins finds again to Coil. Tries to have a look and look. On the pad, save off again. Nylander with the puck. Now off to Riley. Riley again to Domi. Domi looking his way to Labushkin. Labushkin got chopped up as McAvoy will have it. Off to Marchand. Here's Grizzly with the puck. Bruins out of another attack. Gets dead down as Bennett would take it over. The Maple Leafs are back into the offense zone as Paterzi will have it in. Cutting towards the net to the slot. Big save by Swayman. Boston Bruins back their way as Marchand has the puck. 13-20 not finding Pasternak. On the shot. Big save on the rebound. The chain has been stopped by Samsonov. They're really letting that happen now. Samsonov been looking like he wants to take it all for the world. The Leafs will have it as Bennett will have it. Bowling along the puck boards. Bennett gives again to McMahon. 12.50 left to remain as McKay will have it. Right toward the right wing. He went down. Now find it over again to Wolverspoon with new line change. Ben Myers still hanging on. He finds Zaka for two. He went tripped over and no penalty called on Toronto. Well, he's getting a little bit of inches now. I mean, he would have had that complaint already. He would have had almost tripped over, but that stayed out of it for sight. Glove saved by Swayman with 12 to 11 to go. And the next event will be happening here for it, and it, the event is back. If you have tickets, glad you already have made it one because all tickets are already sold out. But as I mentioned in fact right now, so the first trip will be happening to New York at 30 June 28th to the 30th of the end of the month. Following along with the next part of the location, this will be the upper part of it as you will be seeing in New York. Then across from here is Houston, then Seattle. Then, off into the West Coast, Los Angeles is the first stop, before back to the central state of Chicago, Illinois, and the East Coast back again to wrap it up in Florida. For the first half, for the BFDI TBOT Episode 11 and the BFDIA Episode 12 on first and second half. If you have tickets, make sure you have it in here, and this will be every ticket seat you will stepping in to have that one all sold in. And you are in for a show. Enjoy the event of the BFDI and Inami Sandy Tour. Logan finds Brody shot. Great save by Swayman with 10.44 left to go. He's the excellent, he's biggest on the play. Had to make that all aggressive enough to keep on going. Still a tie game, no score in the lead yet so far as we're nearing the midway mark of the period. And the Toronto Maple Leafs will win the faceoff. Mathis is through! Oh, Swayman just had it enough to get over this. He keeps it out for good. Inside, just going to let that happen. That Swayman just really had that one a great save. Looks like this is a lot of pressure for the Maple Leafs. they got to get moving. Byron has it back right now. He fires the puck out. Now Brody will have it over for the late Maple Leafs chance to take it over. Toward the back of him that finds knee shot. Went down as he puts a wide shot. Heinen gets again to Wolverspoon and off to Geeky. Geeky finds again to Heinen shot. Big glove saved by Samsonov. We're passing the midway mark the period before a five minute mark in a period in the game. Let's have a choice, as I sent it over to OJ for the winner. Well, as you know, David Pasternak has been really well to take his snipe. I have a lot of great feelings in between. Trying to beat Austin Matthews was no joke. They didn't really had it all trying to have that message in there for earlier. David Pasternak has a quote to say, Beating Austin Matthews was not easy for me in the rival games. It was all that happens. Most teams definitely really like being against the other teams in the rival matchup, but others didn't really have to come up with a better situation to go with the games. 
That's what Jake Koshinox has done. He's making his tribute to do more of what he has. Now here's Coyle with nine minutes to go. Big stop by Samsonov. Brody back over to get an Elander. Off to Lilgren. Lilgren trying to fight away and his rolls around the net. McAvoy's got it now fighting Marchand. Off to Coyle. Coyle, short on the rebound. Big stop by Samsonov with 838 to go. This is no other offensive, not letting this get in the way. They really know that Samson Adam has been really keeping an eyes on the site. Keeping it going. Let's hope that there is a goal to take. And as the Maple Leafs wins the faceoff, here's Leibushke. Domi off to Nylander. Nylander swings it. That chops the puck and goes right to the corner. Leibushke. Coyle takes the puck away. Boston Bruins into the Elite's territory. Finding him room. Nothing on the call play as he dumps it out. Riley now finding Nylander with eight minutes going by in the third. He will lift it up in the air and bring it into Bruins territory. McAvoy in trouble now. Van Maes got that puck already and now gives it over to DeBrusque. DeBrusque finds Aka shot. It's blocked up. Rebound again to Grizzly. Here's McAvoy. Shot in the middle. Samsonov made a great save. Just 7.30 left to go in the third period. No score yet in the lead. As for the win, puts up for Tabers. Labushkin with the puck now finds again to Yarnbrook. He goes punching badly. Labushkin back to Yarnbrook. Tries to go into the Aver shot. Oh, Swayman! Unbelievable moment. That's still out of here with just 7 10 to go. Just really have to lift that up. It's going to be big and wild. Charlie McAvoy has a stick of up ability in defense. He might find himself if he could definitely try to keep all the defenders out of the way against the Leafs. Big save by Swayman. 7 05 left to go in the third period. They're still trying to answer it back to get back in the lead. And now the win for Toronto. He went off the course. Zaka right in the center ice, now in the Leafs territory. Off to Van Myers. to the lead. Recheck it off by Brody. Now he's off her again to Yonkwa. Oh, I think it takes out. Zaka lost the puck as Yonkwa will have it. Tries to put it back in, and the bat is saved up here by Swayman. Now try to lift it out. Get it out of the zone for the Maple Leafs site. And Brody will now have it again to McMahon. McMahon shoots. Big save on the pad by Swayman. And here's another one for Youngcliffe. On the strike. Oh, Swayman. And it goes right behind the net. That was really well. Now that Swayman was really putting it in a great defensive effort. That's what you can call that when you're it's a comeback one. You gotta make sure you're up in the head. Oh, that charging attack is almost gonna be taken over by Lilgren, but not for long. They still have it out. And Lilgren shot. Big stop and a chain by Swayman. McAvoy on his way down, right toward the right wing. Looking for some extra room to give it to Leo. Saves it off, makes a big save with 5.16 left to go. It's a battle takeover for the rivals against the Canadian and the USA team when the clash goes in. And now that Coyle wins, here's McAvoy to Grassley to go into function. Hey, it's way off the mark. Now here's Marner with the puck with only five minutes going by in the third period. Knee shot, in for a rebound. Knee that's knocked out. The Swayman takes a save again. Now they're ready to do an air face off. Still looking for a crowd energy in Timo in TD Garden. Still a five and five game. 
McAvoy trying to make his way down towards the other side of the ring. Looks it over. For the lead off. Oh, Samson off the nice a shot. Still lucky to have him. But with under 450 left to go in the regulation period. And Carl Coyle wins it. Here's McAvoy off to Marchand. Pasternak giving the McAvoy. Great pass around for the Boston Bruins. And now Matthews will have it again to Mitchell Marner. Here's an overtake for Marner. Marner passes to Riley, big save! And McAvoy comes in to have the puck taken away. Dumps it right into the leaf zone. Scoop up along the board by Morgan Riley. Here's Domi with the puck. He took a slide step over here as Lorray trying to answer back. Now DeBrus gives him McAvoy and now Zucker with the puck. 3.40 left to go as Van Myers will have it over. Loses that one. And Leibushkin will have it back again to Nylander. Now Nylander trying to make his way in. Turn a lead! Oh! Glove saved by Swayman! 3.20 left to go in the third period! Still have a lot of time left. Oh, what that happened now, that crush over is never going to let this one slow down. That is like a pressure. Nobody would ever know that. And Coyle win the faceoff. Lorraine back to Marchand. Trying to go right over to Pasternak. And goes offside. After the offside, and the Bruins will grab it back. Marchand Coyle brings it in. Without leaving it off, it's Paterzi with the puck. Final three minutes in the third period, and it's off with another save made by Swayman. It's really going to be a hard takeover, but now Swayman still keeping it out of here. in a great sight. Lots of time left in this period. Still tied up in this game, five and five. And for the win, he finds Labuskin. What a big hit here as Marchand made a no contest on the Maple Leafs player. Find a pass. Pasternak didn't go in there that time as Riley has it again to Perturzi. Carlo has it back. Now finding Marchand with 2.30 to go. Go for the leadoff. And a big save by Samsonov. Now he's up in the attack. Toward the wing. Behind it. Oh, pushed off again as Coyle will have it. You know that defensive as Bruins done? That was what they did. They didn't never really see that one coming in and out, but that, that's what they always do. They never just felt like they were going to like keep on attacking again. Brody shot. Big save here by Swayman. That's what all happens. They're fighting it big already. Without the Canadians of the Montreal, this one's a little close range and bound. Wow. That was close, and it stayed out of the net, off the crossbar, and go the other way. Stop on the path by Samsonov. And by Myers for the lead, not this time, Samsonov said. Oh man, that's a big takeover now. Mitchell Martyr went wide. Puck leaves his own. Final minute remaining in the third regulation period as Domi's trying to get this attacker on. But Jersey trying to get over it, he bunks down. Loray. A deep pass back to Frederick. 45 seconds left in the third period. On an inbound, it's been denied, and that one takes over. And now back to Paterzi. Domi. Domi trying to make his way in. Good stop by Greslick. With under 30 seconds. Frederick trying to pull it in. To make his way down. Finding Geeky Strong. And glove saved by Samsonov. Almost under 20 seconds, and before the regulation comes to an end, it's still a tie game. Now they're ready to have it. The fans are waiting to see the goal response. And with the win put in for Toronto, as Riley will have it back again tonight. Two on two pressure. Mitchell Marner lost the puck. Heine needs to get moving. 
And that one broke up the pass. Marners bringing their team to OT. It's still a tie game and we have no goals in the third. This one's big in battle, but we'll find out who will get the next goal in to win. It's coming up after this. And as we take the approachment for the inner overtime, let's see how well they did in its total summary for first through third period of regulation. And with no events here for the third period, this one stayed really clean because of a couple penalties was already on last of them in the second period. But this time, it's time for overtime. Who do you think is going to win this one? Hmm, I've got a bigger feeling right now. I mean, they really are going to say the Maple Leafs haven't really scored a lot of them. So I'm pretty sure, I think the Maple Leafs are going to take it over for once. And you, DJ Beast, where do you have? Well, uh, this one's going to be a probable matchup. I'm going to go with the Boston Bruins this time. They've never been winning this one in overtime in the second round, but they've already been smoking it out. But this is like a rival team, but they really wanted to make sure how they can get that one in there. I'm pretty sure that they're going to do this again. They're going to make that one go in, and you made that one just go in, and win off, and take it from here. All right, guys, thank you so much for your, um, for your uh, prediction. Now we start with overtime. This game of overtime of the Stanley Cup playoffs is brought to you by Adidas. Let the games and start the second round of the first game. OT time. As both teams are hydrated up, ice is filled up, and we're set to go. And here we go. First overtime, and overtime is starting now for the second round. We have a start here in between, and this one's, oh, great stop here by Samsonov. And Austin Matthews will have the puck in, racing it down, trying to give off to Morgan O'Reilly. Martyr with the puck. Towards the middle, shot, big save by Swayman. McAvoy's got it down, across again to car Charlie Coyle. Owen with the look, Riley gives it over to Mar Mitchell Marner. Miner give off to Matthews for the win! This one's blocked off. Pachinok got it now, across again to McAvoy, again to Marchand. The Bruins taking it here back in the leaf zone. Babushkin kicks back to Riley, and now Marner with the chance back to Matthews. Matthews, right toward the right wing. Fowley for the loose puck. The Boston Bruins are adding another ones to take as Marchand is right giving it off to Pachinok. Toward the left wing, with an open room, oh, big save by Samsonov, off to win it, nice, get back to Labushkin, Mitchell Marner with the puck now finding Austin Matthews, Matthews making his way down, this was blocked up, McAvoy's got it across, now into the wing, the Bruins are entering the attacking zone, Coyle shot, and this one stop again by Samsonov. Under 18 minutes remaining in OT, still a tie game. Now they're off to do it again. Still a lot of lucky ones to take here, looking for a goal, had goals in OT. And Domi will win the faceoff as Ludwig will give it off to Nylander. Now he finds Bertuzzi. Off to Domi. Domi gives it over again, now finding Brody. Brody went to a stumble down as Loray will have it. Take it along by DeBrus. DeBrus still has it down, finding Zaka. Big stop on a chain. For Jersey making his way down. And Brody will have it over. Another offense trying to pick up a motion. Give off to Domi. Again to Lebrun. Lebrun goes with a sidestep, and Loray has it again to Carlo. Carlo again to Van Myers. Gives it over to DeBrus. DeBrus finding Carlo. Carlo making his way into the left wing. Stopping the puck inbound. The Maple Leafs will have a birdie and back again to Pertuzzi. 
Sidestep it in. On his way down toward the wing to get off and go though. Swing in the nice shot. Under 17 minutes in the OT. With the number go ahead chance, it's still denied as Swimming getting another save in the game. And that's now for the win. McKay will have it. Spins across by Nylander. Shy goes deflected off the skater and now goes right rolling toward the Swimming. We'll hold that puck here with nearing the red line and this one will stop the play with only 60 to 8 to go. You know, that's a great setup. I really love that block shot. This is what they all call for. The Boston Bruins are really outing it to another lineup. They want to make sure they have that one settled in. And Carlo will have the puck. Gives it again to Frederick. Frederick spins around on finding LeRae. LeRae gets punched out. Oh, that's a big hit over there. The big physical contact's just going to let it happen. And there's the penalty call. That slashing's going to call on Carlo. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are deciding it to go for the win in the power play if they get there. Oh boy, I don't like this call. This Brandon Carlo made that slash. That's going to be a hard one to take. That's a disrespect on the run on the players. The penalty kill is called on Boston Bruins. Toronto Maple Leafs will have an answer if they get a win. The Beers wins the face on that piece when the shot goes wide. Right into the Leafs zone. Samsonov will give it off to Matthews to start things over again as McMahon is at it in the Boston zone. Here's Domi. Chance for backhander. This one is saved off by Swayman. And he will clear the puck out. Morgan Riley now have it over again to pick another switch again to Divers. Tiberes went over again to Domi shot. Oh, what a big nice move here by Swayman by Swayman, and it's up and over, now finding another look in the room. Austin Matthews back to McMahon. Under 15 minutes remaining, just one minute remaining for the Toronto Leafs power play. Takes a push out, and Swayman will have it over to stop the puck, and they were ready to do another face-off. Here's the call for William Nylander. William Nylander has a puck on string, has a lot of him to take all but the good moment Better efforts are putting the hat trick in between, but this one keeps the puck on the string to go with some crazy trick motion if he has it coming. And a power play run could be the end for it. Let's find out if Will Nylander has it all. Mitchell Marner trying to answer it in. Now in the full breakout zone, Nylander to win it. This one's stopped by Leray, and he will fire that puck out of here in the Bruins territory. Drumcrook's got the puck. Maple Leafs back in the offense, now finding again to Marner. Just 20 seconds for the Leafs power play. 14 minutes in the OT. Neither to win it! Swimming denies it! Zaka clears the puck out. Looks like his time is about to expire. McAvoy's got the puck. And that will end the Toronto Maple Leafs power play as this one ends up. It's good to be true to stay alive. Well, great sight on this play. They love to hear that one. They really are stepping it in. When they have that one pressure coming in, they really are trying to battle it out. I have no idea how this is going to happen with Carlo, but hey, got a great cause in between. Go, but the skater of this one bit puts it off. And Marner with the back end. This one's knocked out. Nylander trying to get it out of here. Over to Bertuzzi shot. This was way off the mark. Big save on a chain. Full pressure's on. Shot too wide. Young quick. And this one's up again. No penalty regained. What a great block by the Bruins. Jake DeBrus. Entering in the zone. The go ahead for the right. Rebound of in. Oh, let's stay out of here. He must shot. Good catch by Samsonov with 12 30 to go. Now, you really expect what Samsonov does? You made that one an, an unlucky moment. But like he's been like, we're not quitting his timing effort. That is excellent save. And Birdie now finding Lugren. 12 15 left to remain in OT. And Marchand's got the puck. 
Over now at the Pasternak. Pasternak can't hold the puck that long as Matthews will have to battle for the rebound. Now he finds the Knights. Rolls around, not finding Lugren. Back to Brody. Brody right towards the wing. That pass broken up for the one-time motion. Charlie Coyle with the puck. Now give off to McAvoy. McAvoy making his way down. Rolls it behind the net. Gets pushed out as Libushkin's got one. And here's Marner. Oh, been a big hair on a swipe. Marchand finds Quezza. Now finds Coyle. Again to Marchand. Marchand trying to make his way down. Tries to get the puck off again to McAvoy. Trying to go for deflection in there, but it stayed out as it went too far, and Matthews back to Nice. Now Nice will have his chance back to Labushkin. And he makes a shot. This one's wide off the mark. The Bruins will have it as Greslick will now have it again to Heinen. Heinen fires the puck and lifts it up in the air. Morgan Riley battling for the puck. Yarncook's got it now. And now Tabers with the puck now finding McMahon. McMahon trying to let it go in. Over now to Labuskate again to Riley. Riley behind McMahon. Oh, what a block here. That's a great stoppage. And the Bruins are trying to make an answer call. They wanted to deny that one. They are just letting it fly. I was really impressed of seeing it right in between. When you give it up a go moment, you crouch down. That's a great block. Try and deny that one, keep the play alive. I had a blocker stop A by Swayman. That's a lot of great attackers now. I gotta say this, they really are pushing a lot of profanity games right away, make it clean. That's what it does happen now. They're looking at it when you're not going off. Body languaging out of here, just try to look over with the contact on the, on the call. They're making this one a lot cleaner. They're getting a lot much better here, but hopefully this will stay strong. Well, we're spoon, can't find an open look, as Frederick will now have it. Past the midway mark in the period, now finding Zaka. Zaka towards the left wing, up in the air, back behind the net, as Morgan Riley will have it. And here comes Heinen. Heinen give it again to Wolverspoon. Shedding Kirk. Stopping the puck in play as the puck leaves the zone. Escaping from the blue line, now back in the blue line. Zaka for a chance to win! Big save by Samsonov! Off to win from that minor shot! No rebound here! This one stayed out as Camp's got it now. Eight minutes left to remain in OT and Reeves shoots! They wide. Reeves trying to answer back off by Lindgren! This one can't get him to go as Carlo will have it. Carlo now finds again to Loray. Loray again to get to Zaka, now finding an open look. Dubrus tries to give off to Carlo. Carlo making his way down, now finding the pass. Holbrook will have it again, back to Samsonov, and Brody will have it. Another takeover for the Toronto Maple Leafs with under 7.30 to go. Camp fires, shot stop made by Swayman. Loray battling for the puck. Bringing a line change as Carlo is back on ice. Again to Marchand. Wants to go and get a go look moment. Oh, that push off is going to take a big hit. Marchand will win it. Big rebound to the off by Lindgren. Coyle behind the net. Now he finds Lorraine. Vast broke it up as Bertuzzi has it over. You are just letting that flying down. I mean, I don't know what the Leafs are doing, but they wanted to shut them down for big. Carlo shoots, big save by Samsonov. And he's going to stop right now, gives him some time to rest. And now, 6.18 left to go in OT. Now back the our way as they're looking for another face-off win for the Bruins or the Leafs. And the Leafs will win the face-off. 40 face-off wins in total. Terzi, no penalty call on the Boston Bruins with six minutes going by. Takes a stop out of it. McAvoy now finding Greslick. 
Bowser knocks this guy right toward the wing. Good spin move, making the cut. McCabe's got it that time with Carver right handed. Returns he gives again to Nylander. Nylander finding a puck on straight. A stop back stop from A by Spayman. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal will be the end of it as they're still tied. And Coyle wins the faceoff. All word of salsa pass to Pasternox. 5.30 left to go in OT. This one got caught up by Bennett. Bennett gives again to Marchand and now nice with the puck. This one slides across as Coyle takes it over. Now there's no way that they're going to let that one fly over. You never want that at all. Good save by Sazanov. Nearing a five minute mark in OT. It's still a tie game. Sazanov's trying to get a great save in the game. And it's nearing down the end of the first OT. And with Matthews winning the faceoff, here's Bennett. And Warner will have that puck. Try to make the win. The cut and bound doesn't handle it here. Grass it off again to Frederick. Toward the wing. Find the pass. He needs a shoot. He stops it again. Samson off with another big save. 438 left to remain in the OT, and this one still keeps on coming. A lot of time left in the run. Nothing here to make the goal win. Matthews wins in our faceoff as Benny gives it off to Nice. Nice trying to make his way down. Lose the puck. Down Marner has it. Off to Matthews to win it! Big save by Swayman. He's going to hold the puck here with just only 421 left to go in the OT. And now they're ready to do it in our faceoff. Now Pasha, now it's Matthews with the win. Blocker stop made by Swayman. 450 left. Here's Nice. A chance for Riley. Blocked the shot by Frederick again. Oh man. He's like already hurt, but he's still not quitting. Oh, that's a great sign. I love that Frederick reaction out there. He said, no, that's mine now. Swayman picks up a save here with only under four minutes left in the OT. Fans are still loving your support, and a long game is made, still a tie game. And Kiki wins the faceoff as McAvoy will have it. Off to get the trestle check. Frederick, off with the shoe one, sends it up, it's a big save. A critical draw here between Canada and USA. Win the face off with the shot. Bring up Bernie! Big save by Samsonov! For a chance to win! This one's poked by the goaltender. Nylander back again to Labushkin. Off again to Domi. Domi can't hold on with the puck. And Van Mayus with the puck. Trying to get it out of the zone with three minutes. Van Mayus. Labushkin again to Riley. Riley's on a great cross down. He will dump it out of his own. The Bruins will take their answer in as Greslick will give it again to Zaka. Zaka. Toward the center, big save by Stepsonov. 2.39 left to go in overtime. Still a lot of time left to remain in this period. Fans are still loving the wild ones in a rival game between the Leafs and the Bruins. And Riley can't hold on with the puck. Zaka's got it now. Returns he trying to give over again to Leibushke. Here's a chance for the win that was way too wide. And DeBrusque has it back. DeBrusque trying to answer in to take the win. Sets it on, makes a stop. McMahon gives again to Lebushke. Yarncook Scott now crossing the other side of his own. And that one stopped again by Swayman. Under two minutes remaining in OT, it's still a close game now. 
lot of time left to go in. If no goals made, we go into second OT. And as we're in our faceoff win, Lilgren shoots it! Good block to stop by Swayman. McMahon lost the puck. Grezik's on the other way, trying to find the attacker open. Looking towards his own. John Cook's got it now, and he will have it over on the other side of it. Give off to McMahon. Fires the puck out. Tries to live it out. Swayman takes the puck. They're in the final minute in OT. Still a lot of timing to get in between the goal by the Leafs or the Bruins. And the win will put up for the Leafs. Deflected. He scores! Troy Taters wins the first game in overtime. The first of second round. And the fans are coming in, giving a celebration for John Tavares to light the game out. Well, that's what you do now. John Tavares wins that game. He said, I'm going to take it, and there it is. That's a winning faceoff and win. And as I hope you all enjoyed this part of the game, the first game has been concluded for the second round. We'll see you around next time to find other teams that can play against each other. So along with me, Son of Beast, with the DJ Beast and Ultra Beast, this has been a presentation. See you next time. All right, thank you so much. Time for three-star players in the game. John Tavares closes out with an overtime winner with two goals and one assist. Then it was turned to be a second-star player in the game. As Elias Samsonov with 94 saves the game. Then, with that one, it just happened to be all of them to make the finishing go last. Jeremy Swayman with 103 saves over the mark for the second round in the first game. He's incredible. Yeah, of course I know that that happened already. It's been like a hard one. You never know how it gets things done. Here's what I did for the total statistics. 109 over 99 for the total shots on goal for Toronto Maple Leafs. 87 over 77 for Toronto for Boston on a hit. 948 over 741 for Toronto. 93 over 91 for Toronto on a passing percentage. 46 over 32 face-up wins for Toronto. Then six-minute penalty kill was Toronto over Boston four minutes. One power play goal made for Boston with only 412 in the in the power play and only four minutes for Toronto with no power play goals. So that's it for the first game. That first round to, is coming back, and the second round was the first one to stop and buy. To have a little sneak peek, I hope you enjoyed that one. But right now, we'll give you a go back to the first round to have a good look in between the Stars and the Predators at American Airlines Center. Then, Avalanche and Jets are ready to take things on for the next part of the game. And then, stick around next time, Game 6 will be the next one. The Rangers and the Bolts back in the Bali Arena. And the Kings at the and the Kings at home facing against the Canucks at Crypto.com Arena. And then we'll get you back into the NBA to find out what goes in. This has been a presentation for the second round of the conference semifinals of the Eastern Conference of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs and the A Sports. Thank you all for watching and peace out folks for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Next game is underway. Be back soon. Bye bye now. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.